Early fish evolution, evolution is quite interesting. It goes from fish-like chordates with primitive heads 500 million years ago, to jawless fish 400 million years ago, and finally more modern fish with jaws. Pakea was a primitive chordate from the Cambrian period found in Canada. It dates to around 500 million years ago. Haikuichthys and Haikuella were prehistoric chordates from the same period, discovered in China. Haikuichthys is regarded as the first true fish. Ostracoderms were primitive jawless fish from over 400 million years ago in the Silurian and Devonian periods. They were armored with thick shields on their heads. Ostracoderms are a key evolutionary link between primitive chordates from the Cambrian period, like, like uh, Haikuichthys, and later jawed fish. The bony shield on the head of Ostracoderm was covered with uh, thousands of primitive teeth used as a defensive mechanism. These teeth, not yet used for feeding, still had enamel and even pulp like modern teeth. It's amazing to think that they're not used for their original purpose today. There were dozens of ostracoderm species, but I'll cover just a few. Atalaspis lived about 400 million years ago. It is possibly the earliest vertebrate with paired fins. Cephalaspis is probably the most famous ostracoderm. It lived about 400 million years ago and is thought to have been a bottom feeder. Tremataspis lived about 400 million years ago and it was about 4 inches in length. There were dozens of other bizarre looking ostracoderms as well. Ostracoderms are transitional between early chordates and jawsfish. Their strange heads would later build jaws.